Beta thalassemia is one of the most common genetic disorders in the world. Approximately 40,000 children are born each year with a serious form of the disorder called beta thalassemia major. It can cause severe anemia, a condition where the blood does not have enough healthy red blood cells. Beta thalassemia is caused by a malfunction in the gene that makes beta globin, a protein that is used by normal red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout the body. People living with beta thalassemia cannot make enough or any beta globin. The current treatment is frequent and lifelong blood transfusions that deliver red blood cells from donors to the patient to correct the anemia. However, the transfusions also cause iron to build up in the body, which may cause severe damage to organs, abdominal pain, weakness, fatigue, and joint pain. So patients who receive blood transfusions also must take additional medicines to remove the excess iron. This treatment is called iron chelation therapy. Bluebird bioscientists are researching an investigational gene therapy approach as a potential treatment for beta thalassemia major. In the laboratory, a corrected or functioning copy of the beta globin gene is packaged into a lentiviral vector. The vector contains a small number of parts from the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. The HIV parts are used because they are effective at entering cells and delivering the functioning copy of the gene. The vector has been changed so it cannot grow or cause HIV infection. Next, blood stem cells are collected from the patient. In the laboratory, the lentiviral vector will be used to insert the functioning copy of the beta globin gene into the DNA of the collected blood stem cells. Inside the body, a chemotherapy medicine is used to remove existing stem cells to make room for the new ones, which contain the functioning copy of the beta globin gene. When the modified blood stem cells are returned to the patient's body, they will be able to establish a home and multiply. The goal is for the modified blood stem cells to become a permanent source of new blood cells with a functioning copy of the beta globin gene. This investigational gene therapy approach may potentially help patients produce healthy red blood cells and decrease or eliminate the need for continued blood transfusions.